Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix connection error with the game. Now, the first step is to start Windows Time Service for this type in services in Windows search box. Click on services and over here, find Windows Time. So here you can see Windows Time. Make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted. Click on OK. Make a right click on Windows Time and then click on restart. Now you can check still not working. The next step is to open Windows settings. Go to time and language, date and time and make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, then turn it on or if it is already on, turn it off and turn it on once again. Again, if this is off and then turn it on and then click on sync now. Sync now is important. Click on sync now. If you receive any error in red color, then you can click on sync now multiple times. Once you see the tick mark over here, now you can go back to time and language, language and region and make sure your country is selected over here. And then you can check, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command, paste all the commands one by one over here, hit the enter key. All the commands are provided in the video description. Now, once you run all these commands, now restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to disconnect and reconnect Wi-Fi. So you can simply disconnect or turn off the Wi-Fi. Turn off the Wi-Fi and then again, turn on the Wi-Fi, connect to your internet and then check. Still not working. Switch to different network. So if you have any other network available, uh, in that case, you can switch to different network and then you can check. You can even use mobile hotspots. So if you, um, you can turn on the data on the phone, turn the hotspot on your phone. Now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot. And now you can connect to your phone network. So you will find your phone network over here somewhere. You can connect to your phone network. This is just an example. Connect to your phone network and then check. Now still not working, you can rename the save game files. Now before you rename or save game files, create a backup first. Create a backup. Because all the save game progress will be lost. Now rename the save game files, create a backup. All the save game progress will be lost. Everything will start from scratch. Now for this, you can open file explorer. And then you can go to documents folder, my games folder. And over here you can see AFOP folder, create a backup, copy this folder and you can paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click and then you can rename this folder and then you can relaunch the game and then you can check. Still not working, turn off or turn on VPN. So if you're like you using vpn you can turn it off close vpn application and then relaunch the game you can even turn on the vpn and then relaunch the game so try both next step is to perform power cycle shut down your computer first then unplug the power cable from the computer turn off the wi-fi router wait for a few seconds and then restart your wi-fi router connect the power cable back to the computer restart your computer and then check still not working Try Google DNS server. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Go to network and internet. Go to internet, uh, sorry. Click on network and sharing center over here. And then click on your int internet. Once you click on your internet, go to properties over here. S find internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and then select properties. Click on properties. Select use the following DNS server addresses. Over here you can type in 8888 and for alternate type in 8844. Put a check on validate settings upon exit. Click on OK. Close this. 
now you can relaunch the game and then you can check still not working you can try different dns server now for this again go to properties click on the internet over here and then select internet protocol version 4 tcp ip4 select properties and this time again select use the following dns server addresses for preferred you can type in 1111 for alternate you can type in 1001 and then validate settings upon exit click on ok close this again once this is done relaunch the game and then check still not working in that case again go to properties and this time scroll down here you can see find internet protocol version 6 tcp ipv6 if this is checked uncheck this box click on ok and then you can relaunch the game and then check once you are done playing the once you are done playing the game come back and then you can put a check on internet protocol version 6 once again and then check still not working in that case you can if you are using manual dns server you can switch to automatic so you can select internet protocol version 4 tcp ip4 if you are already using manual dns if this is selected you can select open dns server address automatically and then click on okay launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game as an administrator now for this you can make a reclaim the game select manage click on browse local files and then you can just make a right click click on run as administrator or you can even go to properties make a right click properties go to this tab run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and launch the game if you have any trouble you can uncheck it and then follow the next step now the next step is allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you are using windows security open windows settings privacy and security windows security virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow add an allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 steam folder steam apps folder wherever the game is installed if it is from ubisoft find ubisoft connect ubisoft folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open once added now type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall and then click on change settings at the top click on allow on the app click on browse again go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file Open the game folder, select the game exe file, and then uh, click on open, and then click on add. In my case, I have already added the game. Uh, once the game, once the game is added over here, uh, you can now put a check on private and public. Make sure both are checked, and then relaunch the game. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to now. Similarly, if you have any third-party antivirus like Avast, Not On, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program use ethernet connections so if your computer has a ethernet port and if you have a ethernet cable you can go for wired connection and then you can check the next step is to verify or repair the game files you can make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working open windows settings go to windows update click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connection issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel